Hello everyone, I'm so glad you could join us today. I know today is not Wednesday, uh, but it is still technically the third week of the month. So we are um, coming to you now. Uh, my kids still had school this weekend, it was their last week. So we were finishing up and getting focused on all of that. So I am so sorry we are late, but we are still coming to you. I've got two special activities for you to do today. and. Um, one of them is just kind of a little science experiment, and another one is an outdoor activity because it's finally sunny. So we are going to get started. Let's get started on that first activity. Okay, so for this first activity, you need a couple lemons or oranges. This activity will work with both. So um, zoom in. One needs to be peeled, and one needs to be kept whole. I went ahead and peeled my one lemon, as you can see right, sorry, right there. This one's peeled and this one's left whole. So, um, and you'll understand why here in a minute. So, I went ahead and peeled the first lemon. Like I said, you can do this with oranges as well. Um, and I asked my kids, do you think that the lemons will float? So they said that this one was big and that it might not float. So we're going to find out. Look at that. Floats right up to the top. So then we said, okay, well, if this one's nice and big and will float, what will happen with the one that has no skin on it, no outer peel? And look at that. It sinks right to the bottom. So we've got the one that floats and the one that sunk right to the bottom. So what can we learn from our lemon experiment? Actually, we can learn a lot. I know that when I think of a peel, the lemon peel, and how it keeps me afloat, it's like the armor of God keeping me strong and courageous to deal with our day. So our, our armor of God is exactly like a lemon peel and it keeps us up and, and afloat during our, our daily lives and I know that in Ephesians 6 10 through 20 it talks about the armor of God so I'm going to read that to you today it says finally my brother breathe strong in the Lord in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shed your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplications in the spirit, being watchful to this end and with all the perseverance and supplications for all the saints. And for me, the utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So what is this saying? It's saying a lot. So basically, if we put on our... The, around our waist the truth having put on our breastplate of righteousness putting on our feet with preparation of the gospel of peace taking our shield so that we can keep away the evil and sickness as well and take putting on the helmet of salvation to protect our heads and our minds of the evil things that are around us so these things are all so very important and each one of them is so special in keeping us afloat in the armor of God. So to take this lemon, I want you to be like this lemon and I want you to keep your armor on and to so that you can go into battle <laughs> every day, um, especially in this time of sickness. So for this next activity, I have here a DIY sidewalk chalk paint. And with it going to be such a great weekend this weekend, I thought what better way than to create our own sidewalk chalk paint that can be fun to be played with outside. So this is actually super duper simple and it should be everything that you have at home. I tried to make sure everything is something that we can have at home. Um, I, all you need is food coloring, cornstarch, baking soda, and water. And all that does is you mix it all together basically and it creates this paint 
chalky paint that you can take outside and put on your sidewalk. So we are going to um, go ahead and get started. So here's the recipe for that. So we're going to walk through what this actually takes. I have already started with cornstarch. So I'm going to take you over here and show you what I've done Ooh. without creating more of a mess. So the cornstarch kind of made a little bit of a mess. So I went ahead and pre-measured that. I've got one tablespoon of um, baking soda in my tablespoon right now. I'm getting ready to do another. Excuse the funny baking soda noises. <laughs> if I could get a good scoop. All right, and basically what the baking soda does is it keeps the uh, cornstarch from getting all um, goopy. So then we take our cup of water and we mix, pour in our cup of water. All right. So we're just gonna kind of mix this up. You know what, and with humidity and stuff, if it starts looking kind of goopy and you need it just a little bit thinner or a little bit thicker, you adjust it however you need to. This is just a basic start off recipe type thing. So if you need more or less of something or you know, however you wanna mix it up, play around with the recipe a little bit. Um, if you have, if it's okay with your parents, make sure that they are aware of what you're doing. <laughs> we don't want anybody making a mess. So we'll just get this all mixed up. Just keep spinning it. I still feel some goops. I don't know if you can see my spoon. It's kind of goopy. It's got a little big chunk on there. So see if I can push that off. That cornstarch really wants to make a goop, which might be a uh, experiment we do at a later date. Haven't completely decided what the next one is. I know we're getting into summer, so we want to do more fun summer things, so I'm looking for some summer activities. If you guys have any ideas and want to send them to me, you can send them to me on Facebook, at through our Facebook page at Pleasant Hill Church of God. You can also send it to, uh, put a comment in the link below, or in, down below, um, and leave us a comment on our YouTube page. Whatever you want to do. All right, it looks pretty smooth now. Looks like I've got it pretty pretty smooth. So now we kind of have a little bit of a paint consistency and I picked a bowl that had a little lip on it so it made it a little easier to um, pour. Also I have um, some throwaway cups so that way when we're done with our uh, painting we can just throw our stuff away and clean our brushes and keep our brushes. So here I'm going to move it just a little bit. Oh. Okay, and then you're gonna take this and you're just gonna divide it. It doesn't have to be, um, I know I've seen some people do muffin tins. I know I've seen some people do, um, making sure I'm in the shot. Uh, I've seen people do uh, paper bowls. Uh, whatever you have on hand is a-okay. It does not have to be, oh, here I'm pouring it right out of the, the view. All right. Ooh, we might have to steal from another one because I think I poured too much in one. So we'll just kind of, and if you want just a little bit of a certain color and more of another color, this is where you get to add your colors. So I'll have my little helper over here hand me, oh, he handed me blue. So we'll start off with blue. You just need a couple drops, three to four drops per thing. And like I said, it just depends on what you, how dark you want it how light you want it. We'll start with three and we'll go from there. I've got a couple plastic spoons over here. Oh, we'll bring this in over here. So look, I've got a couple drops in there. All right, and I'm gonna have my little other little helper. She's gonna go ahead and start mixing. Wow, that looks so cool. All right, go ahead and show the camera there. We've got a nice pretty blue color, sky blue color. So we're going to leave that. I think that's a good color. We were, we're not going to mess with that one too much. I think that's a good color. So go ahead and pick the next one. 
I think we're gonna do red. My little helper handed me red. So this one we're gonna do red. So then I'm gonna have my other little helper. She's going to mix. One, two. Sorry, I'm doing this again right outside of the, the frame. All right, we got three little drops in there. She's gonna mix it. All right, that looks like a good red. Oh, it's kind of pink. We'll add a couple more drops. Red's kind of hard to get. So we'll add a couple more drops to that and see what we can get, if we can get it any darker. We don't want to add too many because we don't want to make it too liquidy. All right. All right, that looks pretty good. It looks a little darker, but I don't think we're going to get much darker. So we're going to leave that one. So we've got blue and red and my next color, my little helper handed me yellow. So we're gonna do some yellow. One, two, three. And I probably didn't do that in the shot at all. So we'll add another one, four. Sorry about that. I'm not very good with the camera positioning. So it looks like our last color is gonna be green. Hold it up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so we've got that one. So then we're gonna do our last color and we are gonna leave one white. Um, my one little helper said that she wanted to make a rainbow. So she is um, going to, we are gonna do white. So here we have green. So she's gonna do some clouds and two, three. All right, she's got that all mixed. All right, so now we're gonna take our colors and we're gonna go outside on our sidewalk and we're gonna paint some paintings. So sometimes the color doesn't come out real well right at first, but if you keep adding to it, it, it works. They're having fun. And what's great is you throw water on it, it goes away. everyone I hope that you got to enjoy the activities that were shown today they were a lot of fun planning for you guys so I hope you guys get to enjoy them I would love to see your paintings if you did get to go out and do some paintings I would love to see those you can send those to me either through the church email you can also send them to post them in the comments of Facebook or YouTube whichever one you want to if you would like I would love to see them I can't wait to see you guys I hope you guys have a great day enjoy the sunshine that's outside i hope you also get to enjoy this beautiful weekend that we're supposed to have and enjoy the holiday i hope to see you guys soon